Hey everyone, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, integrating databases with React or with Express, sorry, and um, specifically today we're going to take a look at MySQL just because it's probably the most popular package. Um, so yeah, we're going to learn how to set MySQL up uh, with a database and uh, get some data from it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install the uh, MySQL wrapper for Node. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do npm install dash dash save MySQL. Uh, and while that's going, again, we can go out and take a look at npm.js uh, and see what, what it is we're dealing with. So we can look for MySQL and we can find it here. Um, so this has a ton of great documentation, which is really nice. Uh, and this is basically what we're going to follow. We're just going to integrate it with Express. So you, uh, you, know, you require it, you set up a connection and connect to it, and then you can go ahead and start doing your queries, which is nice. So check in that has finished installing so honestly we can just go ahead and kind of copy this for now so I'm going to copy all this stuff from npm and I'm going to go back into my index.js file and I'm just going to paste it and we're going to start kind of moving things around so the first thing is this MySQL line is just a require like we've seen before uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just move it up to where all the other requires are maybe space these a little bit nicer so we can see what's going on move that one down okay cool so now we've got express and we've got MySQL uh, the second one is this connection information. So, like, we can call this stuff, let's see, like, uh, app location settings, maybe. You know, setting our static folder, setting our view engine. Then we can call this one, like, configuration, this little section here. Um, and last, we've got kind of this information, which is like start a connection, do something, end. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move all of that for now into this route here. Um, so we've got, you know, when you hit the route, we connect to MySQL, we do this query here, and then we console log it, and then we end the connection. Um, so I'm going to use my stuff. If you don't have MySQL installed already, so this is like, uh, again, depending on your experience level, I do remember this tripping me up. Uh, this is not installing MySQL, what we did here with this npm install. This is a driver that allows you to interact with MySQL via Node. So you need MySQL installed. Uh, you should have a command line app. So you should be able to do uh, MySQL dash dash version and get a version. Uh, MySQL does come installed on a lot of machines by default, but if you don't have it, um, you'd want to go ahead and go to their site and download it and set it up for Windows or Mac or Linux. So before we go any further, you should make sure that from the terminal you can run MySQL dash dash version and you get something here. And when you set up MySQL, you'll set up your username, password, all those kind of things. So uh, for now, I've got a randomly generated password and the username is root on my machine. So um, it, when I type in MySQL username root, password this password then I have access to all of these things and I can do something like show databases um, and it just shows some of the things that I've worked on in the past so uh, for now I guess we can go ahead and create a new database and this is not within the regular consoles is within the MySQL console uh, and I'm just gonna call it Express and so now if I do show databases I'll see Express up here so great uh, I'm gonna hit control D twice to get out of there and then I'm going to copy this information here. So we've got the host is localhost, that's true. The user is root. The password is this thing minus the P flag. And the database that we just made is express. So that should be good. And we can test if that's working because if we run this with the wrong credentials and we try to do this connect, it'll fail and it'll spew an error. So before we do anything more, let's go ahead and run node listening on 3000 and then I refresh and boom we've got the page just like before nothing really different at this point um, the one thing you'll see is if you pass back over to the console you'll see this the solution is to being logged uh, so a couple of things going on here um, first and foremost it's important to know uh, for those that are like front-end developers front-end JavaScript developers coming to node that you now basically have two different consoles. So if you console log within any client side, like if you sent down this JavaScript and you console log, it's gonna be in your web console just like you're used to. But if you console log in the node code, like I've got here, console log, it's not gonna happen in the browser, it's gonna happen in the terminal. So it's something important, uh, it's just an alias here, but your console logs in your node app, go to the terminal, in your front end app, go to the web browser like you're used to. So basically what's going on here is that we're doing this select statement 
Um, and this is neat. Could they use this as an example because it doesn't require a table being set at all? Uh, so it's like select one plus one and give it the name of solution. So if we just took this code the way it is here, copy it, and I kill my app and I go back into my SQL and I use uh, the express database and then I just paste this in, select one plus one is solution, it just returns something called solution with a value of two. So this is a really, really basic MySQL example. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to show right now, I'm gonna control D to get out of there, that if we took that solution, um, and remember this isn't a callback, and we do our render inside the callback. So now this is our you know render express view. That's what's happening here. Um, then we can go ahead and pass something like solution equals um, oops, solution equals rows zero solution, and then in our template here we could do h1 equals uh, solution. So now we've got basically if we restart this node app, and I'm going to cover everything we just did, uh, take another pass at it, but um, we can actually console log two. The the thing that's cool here and worth noting is that kind of for the first time we are now experiencing some dynamic information, right? Because, I mean, this is always going to return to since we don't have a table set up, but you know, it could be anything. It could be, you know, five plus uh, three or something like that. Um, and the dynamic information is passed into our template, which knows how to handle dynamic stuff. Uh, and it's just very, very smooth. So now that we've got our five plus three, oops. Uh, and we refresh here, eight shows up. So this is kind of like our first step into, you know, something something a lot bigger, something like a lot more like an app. So just to kind of go through everything we did, we installed MySQL and the driver. We configured our database. So this happens when the app boots up. It doesn't have to happen each time. And then when you hit this app get, um, you know, we start a connection, we do this query. The query takes the, um, an actual query as its first parameter and then a callback function as its second where you name whatever you want the uh, returned rows to be. Um, and then we can go ahead and get rid of this line. Um, so we take that, if there is an error, we throw it. If there's not an error, then we go ahead and we render the index template, which it knows where to find based on the view engine. Uh, we give it a title, which could be anything, and then we are actually passing some of that dynamic row data into the template. Um, so this is kind of where we get to a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here, but I'm hoping that you can see at this point that we're like really starting to get to that point where um, we've got like the makings of a dynamic application.